Hi everyone, uh, this is Divya here and welcome to String Diary. So today uh, we're going to learn how to do uh, the broomstick lace stitch. Uh, it's a very quick and simple stitch. So let's go uh, and check out the materials that you're going to need uh, for the broomstick lace stitch. So first of all for the broomstick lace stitch you can use any yarn and uh, based on that yarn you can uh, uh, decide how long you want the loops to be. So um, just bear with me for a while while I'll explain to you what those loops are. So in addition to your normal crochet hook and your yarn uh, you will need um, any kind of a scale like a one inch scale or any kind of a flat uh, you know uh, object that you can put the loops around or you can even take like uh, uh, any kind of rod of say one inch three fourth inch height you can take a big fat pen uh, you can take any other uh, you know items where you can uh, uh, hook your loop on to right so let's get started for today's tutorial, I am going to use the um, worsted weight acrylic 8 ply yarn and I am going to be using, you know, uh, just something flat uh, which is like a little above an inch uh, mainly because I am working with worsted weight and I am using a 5.5 mm, 5 mm crochet hook, right? So let's get started. So uh, the broomstick lace stitch is worked in multiples of five stitches uh, so uh, whenever you are starting or trying to make something out of the broomstick lace stitch it your base uh, row of stitches should always be in the multiples of five right so um, I'm going to make um, around 25 foundation single crochets and I will meet you at the end uh, so that we can, you know, start the actual working of the broomstick lace stitch. So now I have completed 25 uh, foundation single crochets. I usually tend to use foundation single crochets as a base uh, line for any of my stitches because they are, you know, cleaner and neater. But uh, you can also use your normal chain and, uh, you know, uh, going back and doing your single crochets into them. Uh, um, or you could just stick with just the chain uh, stitches itself right so now that we've completed that uh, portion we're going to turn our work right so we're going to turn our work and we're going to get the yarn which is in front we're going to take it behind right so in a in a way that it goes behind your hook Right, so uh, we'll be taking the yarn behind and you see this loop on your crochet hook right now. We're just going to pull up that loop to be longer, right? We have to pull it up as long as whatever uh, item that you're using to hook the loop on or to keep the loop on. So whether if it's a flat scale kind of a thing or whether it's your rod, you have to make sure that the loop is long enough to go around it. Right, so I'm just going to take uh, the loop. So this is what you do. You pull up the loop, okay? You pull up the loop as long as possible, okay? And tuck it or, you know, keep it on your scale, right? And then you can pull your remain remaining yarn just to make sure that it is, it is snug and tight and it is the same height of that scale that you're using right so then what you have to do is you are uh, you will go into the next stitch so we so if you see this is your first stitch we've already picked up one loop from the first stitch we will go into the next stitch without any yarn overs or anything just insert your hook into the next stitch from the top two loops okay and we're going to pull up one loop now again we're just going to pull up the loop longer and tuck it on the scale right that's it that's all we're going to keep doing throughout so let's look at it one more time we're going to go into the next 
stitch we will go into the next stitch and we will pull up a loop and make it longer and tuck it on your scale right so now we have three loops and we've done with three stitches so you continue to pick up loops like this and put it on your rod or scale now don't worry if uh, say you have filled up the entire scale and you say you have a lot of uh, you know you have some 200 300 stitches and you're pulling up loops into all of them it is not required that they have to be on the scale the whole time you can also get it off the uh, scale uh, it won't come off just make sure that you're working on a flat surface so that you know those loops don't get entangled into any objects around right so um, I'll keep picking up loops uh, into all of these uh, uh, stitches and I will meet you at the end. So now that I have reached the end of this row and I have picked up 25 loops so that's 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25 right so I've picked up 25 loops so now I'm going to turn the work again okay and I'm going to take the loop that is in front and I'm going to take it behind the work right so now if you want you can remove all the loops and work with them so I'm just going to show you both ways I'm going to show you when they are on the uh, scale or the rod that you use and when you remove them off right so you insert your hook into the first five loops so you as you remember I had said that uh, uh, that the uh, that the broomstick lace stitch is a set is a repeat of five stitches together right so which means that five stitches together make one broomstick lace cluster right so we're going to go into uh, two of uh, into five of these uh, loops okay and I'm if you see my working yarn is just behind I'm just going to take it in length with that height right and I'm going to yarn over pull one loop out through those five loops right and chain one okay so now what you want if you want you can just remove uh, I'm gonna remove all of them but you can remove the first five stitches together and then now if you see we have uh, we have these five loops here now you can you can put your finger through those loops or you can just hold the front uh, part of those five loops together right turn it around so you can see that gap there right and make five single crochets through that gap so that is through all the five loops together so that's one two three four and five so five single crochets through those loops through those five loops so when you do that what happens is the front loops get uh, come as an angle and so does the back loop the similar way right so this is what we're going to do in the second row so basically uh, the uh, broomstick lace is one a repeat uh, of five stitches which means that it has to be uh, in multiples of five stitches right and it is a repeat of two rows that form one cluster together right so once you finish this five single crochet one cluster of the broomstick lace stitch is formed so now I'm going to go into the next loops now if you see all the loops are you know they've uh, they're not on this they're, they're like twisted and everything so what you have to do is you have to make sure that you insert the loops with the front loop in the front and the back loop behind now let me explain to you 
now if i just pick up the loop like this right you can you can see that this loop is twisted at the base you see that the front loop is going behind and the back loop is come front right so this is not what you want you want to make sure that your loops are straight where it's a clear right from the base and it's not twisted so that's how you have to pick up your five loops to make sure that they are all so if they are twisted just untwist the loop and make sure that they are in the right form right now if you see all of these five loops are straight and they are not twisted and then i'll go around doing the same thing so i'm just going to yarn over pull the loop through all the five and complete one single crochet right so we're going to do chain one only at that first portion uh at the start of that row and hence forth onwards for each cluster you will directly go into making single crochets so now if you see the moment you make that first single crochet you can see the gap in the center here so that's your going that's where you're going to insert your hook pull up the loop and complete single crochets in five single crochets in one cluster of five loops right so so 1 2 3 4 5 there you go so i'm going to continue doing this and i'm going to meet you at the end to show you how it looks and we'll show you how to go about the next row so now if you see i've completed all the five clusters we did 25 stitches so five loops in each cluster and we have five clusters together so i did five single crochets in each of these clusters and now you can see that you will have a very nice uh, gap in the middle and you can see that it forms the broomstick lace clusters right so now we're going to repeat this again so we did the row 1 of pulling pulling up the loops and we did the second row of doing single crochets backwards right so again i'm going to turn the work and and the loop that is already there on your hook counts as the first loop so i'm just going to pull that loop up and i'm going to put it on to the scale right so and then that stitch is already worked in so i'm going to go into the next stitch and pull up another loop so this is how you continue doing it you pull up loops all the way till the end and then you will come back doing single crochets into five loops together right five single crochets into five loops together right so let me just finish picking up these loops and we'll go back to the next row and uh, i'll show you how it will look once we've done all the rows right so i've finished picking up all the loops and we're going to turn the work make sure that the working yarn is behind the work again and the similar way we're just going to uh, make sure we pick up uh, five loops together so you pick up five loops just make sure that you go into all of those five loops properly right and chain one to get your yarn out right so yarn over pull the loop through all five of them and chain 1 right then you can remove the whole thing out you can have all your stitches come out and then you're going to repeat the same row 2 that is you're going to do you're going to hold the five loops together and you're going to do single crochet into that gap through all of those five loops four and five so just a few things to remember when you are picking up the loops uh, always count that you have five loops uh, look to the back of your work so that none, no loops have you know uh, maybe like gone down or something like that so you don't miss them out uh, just make sure that you check all over and also what you can do is you can check from those five single crochets that you have 
you can check if all the five loops that you're picking up are in that cluster or not so if you've missed a loop or if you have taken an extra loop from the next cluster you will be able to see now um, if you see you can see these five uh, single crochets and you can see the five loops now if i take another sing uh, loop from the other uh, uh, cluster you will easily come to know that it's from the other cluster because that single crochet belongs to this one right so that's the way you can keep track of your loops and ensure that you're picking up the right loops to form the broomstick lace stitch so the same way you keep continuing to uh, the the single crochets into each of these clusters and that's it you keep going on row after row and uh, there's your broomstick lace stitch uh, just another point to remember is that because it's a lace stitch and because uh, it, you know it kind of forms that gap uh, it is required that you block this uh, stitch properly otherwise the stitches won't uh, you know open up and you won't be able to see the lace properly so uh, there you have it you've now learned how to do the broomstick lace stitch and i'm sure that you uh, you'll find this stitch very useful in making shawls and blankets and more lacy uh, stuff um, if you want to use uh, want to see an application of this stitch in uh, one of my designs you can see that uh, it's used in the prakruti shawl uh, and you can find the links in the description box below Thank you so much. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you next time with more uh, tutorials and videos. Thank you.